long-term, slow-moving progressives that are going towards socialism. They're going to come out and just say it. So we've seen some evidence backing that up. This from the New York Times today. New York Times. New York Times. I can't wait. Quote, headline, yes, I'm running as a socialist. Oh, my God. Why candidates are embracing the label in 2018. (laughs) <laughs> Unbelievable. Listen to some of this. There's no question uh, primary night in Texas last month, Franklin Bynum would win the Democratic nomination to become a criminal court judge in Houston. The 34-year-old defense attorney had no challengers. But for his supporters who packed the Mexican restaurant that evening, there was still something impressive to celebrate. Many in the crowd were members of the Democratic Socialists of America, DSA, a group that has experienced an enormous surge of interest Since the election of President Trump. Do you remember what they used to say when I brought up the DSA? Yeah. I used to bring that up on the chalkboards all the time, and they called me a conspiracy freak. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, these people are still around, and this is what's coming our way. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Mr. Bynum said, yes, I am running as a socialist, end quote. Rather than shy away from being called a socialist, a word conservatives have long wielded as a slur, candidates like Mr. Bynum are embracing the label. He's among dozens of DSA members running in the fall midterms for offices all around the country at nearly every level. Wait, wait. The prediction was that they would embrace it and they'd say, damn right, I'm a socialist because this doesn't work and we have to try something. We have to try something new. Did they say anything like that? Oh, my God. Yes. Uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, hold on. Oh, my well, gosh. Let me get All to right, this. All right. Go ahead. So it's gone. It's, uh, in membership in the DSA has gone up seven times since November 2016. Wow. Uh, the number of organizations, almost five times as many, including 10 in Texas, Democratic Socialists of America. Studies suggest that young people with few memories of the Cold War embrace socialism far more than older people do. A 2016 survey of 18 to 29-year-olds by Harvard's Institute of Politics found that 16% identified as socialists, while 33% supported socialism. Only 42% supported capitalism, while a majority, 51%, said they did not. Those results surprised the pollsters so much they thought they made a mistake He conducted a new study, this time of the general population, and got the same result. The only group that expressed net positive support for capitalism were people over 50 years old. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Many socialist candidates sound a lot less like revolutionaries and more like traditional Democrats who seek to return the radical pose for the radical Mm -hmm. ends. Um, They want want single-payer health care. Now, remember, when we talked about Obama and we said these are socialist tendencies, he wants single-payer health care, higher minimum wage, and greater protection for unions, that was called a slur, as they kind of associated here in this, in this article. However, they're def- defining it as exactly that. Others advocate more extreme ch- uh, changes, such as abolishing the prison system. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay. That's a, okay. Some local Democratic Party leaders worry that taking openly, uh, talking openly about being a socialist is only going to make it harder to defeat Republicans. People are more willing to come out and say, I'm a Democratic socialist running, says Jorge Roman Romero, 24, who leads the DSA chapter in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Wow, where six Democratic candidates, four of whom were willing to run as Democratic socialists, sought the group's endorsement. It's not a liability to say that anymore. 